Example number two on logarithmic equations, you've been told to solve the equation log 27 to base y is equals to 3 plus 1 over log y to base 8. So you have log 27 to base y to be equals to 3 plus log 8 to base y. So from the rules of logarithm, when you have log 8 to base y, that is the same as 1 over log y to base 8. So we saw that on the rules of logarithms. So we've now got a read of logarithm in the denominator. So log, log 8 to base y is the same as 1 over log y to base 8. So there we ensure we have the same base. To solve that equation, we must have the same base. So the first term there is to base y. The second term, 3, does not have a log. Then the third term is to base y. So everything must be to base y. So log 27 to base y is equals to 3 log y to base y. Remember, logarithm of a number to the same base is 1 over log 8 plus log 8 to base y. So log y to base y is 1. The logarithm of a number to the same base is 1. So there, we now have the same base. The next thing is we get rid of the coefficients. So a coefficient of a log is the power. So there we have 3 log y to base y is simply log y to power 3. So the coefficient 3 is the power. On the right hand side of the equation, again, we join the two logs. So we have log to base y. If we remove log to base y outside, if you have a case like log x plus log y, that is simply log into x plus y. So on the right hand side of your equation there, if you remove log to base y outside, you remain with y cubed times 8. Addition changes to multiplication if you remove the logarithm. So there we can get rid of the logarithm on both sides of the equation. We can ignore the logs on both sides of the equation. So if you ignore the log, we have now 27 is equals to y cubed times 8. So that implies 8y cubed is equals to 27. So divide both sides by 8 to get y cubed. So if you divide both sides by 8, we have y cubed is 27 over 8. But 27 over 8, remember, is the same as 27 is the same as 3 cubed and 8 is the same as 2 cubed if you factorize. So 3 cubed over 2 cubed, loss of indices. Is the same as 3 over 2, everything cubed. Then you find the cube root on both sides. Then you get the value of y to be 3 over 2. So that is how we solve logarithmic equations with different bases. We ensure we have the same base.